Hello, I'm Dr. David Saperstein, Director for the Center of Complex Neurology, EDS, and POTS in Phoenix, Arizona. In this video, I'd like to talk about the diagnosis of something called mast cell activation syndrome, or MCAS. In a previous video, I talked about the features and problems that MCAS can cause. Diagnosis can be tricky, and largely it's based on looking for elevated levels in the blood or urine of what we call mediators, or basically chemicals that mast cells release. So if mast cells are activating more than they should, basically releasing these chemicals or mediators, then that would cause elevated levels in our system. And there's several that we look at. Most commonly, or traditionally, has been a chemical called tryptase. Also, we can look at histamine in the blood. There's a few other things we can look at in the blood. And then in the urine, we look at metabolites of histamine, something called N-methylhistidine. And we look at metabolites of, of prostaglandins. Um, these can be very tricky to detect. The specimens need to be kept cold, whether it's blood or urine. They need to be processed just the right way. And unfortunately, a lot of labs, even if we as clinicians send instructions, we, it doesn't always get done properly, which can affect the yield of the test. Medications can affect the yield. So interestingly, antihistamines or other medicines for MCAS don't typically affect the test results, but uh, something called NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like Motrin and Naproxen or aspirin or, or substance like that can affect, especially their yield of the prostaglandins. Um, so some of these tests can be done with a blood test. Some of them require a urine collection for 24 hours, and um, we're looking for elevations. So some people might have one or more mediators that are elevated, and some people it might just be one that's elevated. Unfortunately, sometimes despite our best efforts, efforts and repeat testing, um, we don't find any elevated mediators. Um, Another place where we can look for mast cells is in the gastrointestinal tract. There are a lot of mast cells there. And so very often people with MCAS have gastrointestinal symptoms and they undergo uh, what we call endoscopy, where a physician passes a, a scope into their stomach or intestines, and they'll usually take little biopsies when they do endoscopy. And those tissues, tissue specimens can be what we call stained in such a way that mast cells can be visible. And so uh, sometimes we can find that there's too many mast cells in a biopsy, and that can be a way to also support the diagnosis of MCAS. Um, sometimes we have to make the diagnosis clinically because the tests just aren't uh, up to the task of making the diagnosis. And then uh, we, we treat based on that. And uh, I have a separate video on the management of mast cell activation syndrome.